Yuka, we're here at kind of a generational shift as the industry moves to 5G. Um, clearly, there's going to be some transformation needed in the BSS world. So how important is that transformation and what's the nature of that transformation going to take? Well, I think uh, discussing with the CSPs here in the event, uh, the business need is very clear. If you look at the CSPs, what they are after is return on investment for the 5G. And of course, they reach out to the new verticals, be it uh, connected vehicles, uh, factory automation, uh, healthcare, uh, virtual reality type of new services. So CSPs are planning something new. And with the legacy, you don't have the agility and flexibility for going into those new areas. And uh, I think it's also, actually it's Nokia's uh, recent report, which is saying that 98% uh, of the CSPs are actually planning of altering or transforming their monetization for moving to the 5G SA and, and monetization. Yeah, and the real important thing about that is how do we speed up the time to that value as we go into 5G? Exactly, exactly. And I think there's a couple of aspects into that. So one thing is that when you deploy something new, so if you have pre-integrated, tested solution that you deploy, you are better off. And I think we are really fantastic uh, together in terms of having the jointly integrated monetization. Uh, yesterday you launched uh, Ava Charging as a SaaS service, and then Quantel Flex BSS complementing that with, uh, with uh, uh, BSS capabilities for commercial product management, revenue management, customer management. And of course then having integration all the way to your uh, proven 5G SA core is, is a fantastic package. So. Indeed. So a lot of the promise of you know, new business opportunities in 5G is in B2B and B2B to X type of customers. And for those, the real important thing is to be able to get these offers into the market quickly, uh, which is something that perhaps the industry has struggled with. So yeah. how can we approach things differently right. in order to help them do that? Yeah, very good question. I, I think uh, it starts from the offer creation. Yeah. So you need to have extremely good commercial product catalog, well done implementation, integration to the charging side, and you need to have an extremely good way to launch the product to the market. And then not only the products, but when you go to the b 2 b to x uh, uh, verticals and business models, then you are reaching out to the new customers, new segments. And with our solution, we provide no-code configurability for the customer journeys and processes when you reach out to those new segments. So I think together we have a high configurability starting from the catalog to the business processes, customer journeys, uh, charging catalog, everything is designed for easy configurability and that is the thing what you need when you go to the, let's say, partially even unknown areas yeah. in 5G. I think that's an excellent point, right? Because the unknown is the great opportunity. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. the fact that we've both kind of come to this no code configuration of, yeah. you know, charging offers, charging logic and yeah. commercial offers is something that's a big value we think to our customers. Exactly, and, and sometimes we hear that uh, in, in, in CSP customers, sometimes business is saying to the IT that, hey, you need to be ready for the future. Unfortunately, I can't define for you, but you need to be ready. Yeah, and it's a bit of a kind of unfair yeah. challenge. But then again, what we are doing together is uh, preparing for that. So configurability, flexibility, so that uh, you can build those things that you don't yet have, but the platform you have is enabling it. Absolutely agree. Yuka, a lot of CSPs, I think, are still kind of hesitant about doing these BSS transformation because they've been traditionally very lengthy, very complex, and actually very costly processes. So what is the opportunity here when it comes to new things like SaaS for actually changing you know, the paradigm for these transformations? Right, right. Well, I would say that there's a couple of different aspects. One is that when you do your transformation, when you deploy, you are better off when you have pre-integrated tested solution, like in the case of our joint solution. So that mitigates uh, risks in deployment and getting it going and up and running. Uh, then, of course, the other aspect is the whole transformation paradigm. So one option is that you transform your legacy, and that can be done as well. But the other option is that you also establish a parallel solution, kind of greenfield, new world, new, for example, 5G standalone stack with uh, your core charging uh, policy and so forth, and then integrated BSS to go as well. And with the Greenfield implementation, you are free from the legacy constraints and you get faster to experiment and, and create new services, for example, for 5G SA. And this way, 
you can get something up and running quickly for experimentation and you avoid the risks of messing with the legacy and timelines and costs. And you, you can still, you know, come back to the transformation once you have first launched something to the market and organically grown the business with new products and customers. And then you can decide that, hey, great, now I will start migrating my existing legacy customer base to the new, for example, 5G standalone core and, and monetization platform. And then you have a controlled way of transforming your legacy to the new, new world as well. Yeah, and I, I think it's a really good point because the industry has been talking about you know, how can we fail fast for so long now? And now with the ability to deploy as a service, we can do that quickly, provide a, a, a place to experiment, to try new lines of business, fail fast if it happens, and obviously succeed fast uh, is what we hope. Exactly, and I think 5G SA is, uh, is a perfect now, now uh, territory for starting to do it. And time is right now, uh, this year, next year, and onward. So we are excited for that. Absolutely. Well, great. Yuka, thanks for talking to me.